Hi, my name is John Patterson. Thanks for taking the time to watch this video. I'm going to give you a brief tour around Really Simple Systems. This is the home page that you'll see immediately after logging onto Really Simple Systems. The currency and date formats will obviously depend upon where you are in the world. Let's start off by talking through the terminology that we use. Accounts are the names of the companies and organizations that we're dealing with. These are our prospects and our customers. Contacts are the people who work within those organizations. They're the people. Opportunities are deals in our pipeline that we're hoping to close. Tasks are things that people need to do in the future, such as calling people back. We can see here from the middle of the screen that we've got nine outstanding tasks that are due today. Also in the middle of the screen we can see there's a link to our getting started documentation and our video tutorials and also a link of how to contact our support staff. At the top of the screen in this box here is a really useful search box that you can use from anywhere within the system to immediately find a company or a contact. So if I just type in bank here for instance and click the search button it will find all the companies in the organization with the word bank in them. And similarly if I actually look for a contact it will find all the contacts called Fred. And wherever you are in the system you'll always have access to this search bar. You'll also see down the bottom on the left hand side here that the history of where we've been, our navigation history, and you can go back to any of the pages that you've recently been to simply by clicking down here. The large box in the middle is the opportunity and forecast summary showing us our sales to date and how many deals we have in our pipeline. So we can see here that our friend Frodo has closed one deal so far this month for 8,000 and has a further three opportunities in the pipeline. If all those opportunities came in, he'd have a total revenue of 157,000. But because he's put a probability percentage against each one, he's forecasting that the likely revenue that's going to come in is going to be more like 87,000. At the bottom of this box we have the totals showing for the organization as a whole we've closed three deals so far this month and we've got a further 17 in the pipeline. And the sales funnel over here is showing us whereabouts in the sales stage we are for each of those 17 deals. So we can see that we've got two opportunities here at the new stage all the way going down to three opportunities at the final stage expecting the order and you can customize the number of stages that you have in your sales process and what they're called from the setup tab up here at the top. Let's have a look at the accounts page. The accounts page brings up all the accounts that there are within the system although by default as you can see here it's only brought up my accounts that is to say the accounts that I'm the account manager of. Providing I've got security permission to do so I can change that to see all the accounts within the system. You'll notice that when you're moving through the system that when you move your mouse over an object you'll get a little box popping up like this that'll tell you a little bit more about what's going on here. We're trying to keep all the screens neat and clear and not clutter them up with too much information. So what we've done is that where there's more information that we think you might be interested in if you move the mouse over it it'll pop up and give you that additional information. Let's drill down to my favorite account Acme Corporation. So here we are looking at the accounts page for the Acme Corporation. On the left hand side here of the screen you'll see the usual name and address, contact detail and information. On the right hand screen here you'll see that we've got some additional fields that we can use to analyze this account. You can change the names of the fields and how many that you have and add new ones from the setup tab by choosing the manage custom fields option. Underneath the main information on the account we have all the contacts, that is to say the people who work within that organization. I can add up to three new contacts in one go just by typing their names to these fields here and pressing the update button. Under the contacts we have the tasks grid. Tasks are things that we need to do in the future such as calling people back. We can see here that we've got one outstanding task. It's not due yet so it's still in green 
but you can have as many tasks as you like in an account and you can allocate them all to different people. So different people can have different tasks to do different things on different dates. Underneath the tasks, we have the activities grid. Activities are the history of all our interaction with this organization ever since we started to deal with them. They can be calls, emails, meetings, and we can see on the right hand side who is responsible for the activity. And below the activity grid, we have the opportunities. The opportunities are the deals that we have closed or hope to close in the future. We can see here that we've got one deal here that we've won and there's another deal that we're forecasting to come in next month. And underneath that we have linked accounts. Linked accounts is minimized. You can see on the right hand side of all of these grids that you can expand them and shrink them as you like. We don't have any linked accounts here. You can turn this feature off if you want to. Linked accounts is useful when you're dealing with organizations where there's a link between one of the people that you're dealing with and another of the organizations that you're dealing with. Where there's a relationship there, you can record it within the system. Underneath that, we have the campaign details, which is from our marketing system. And then finally, down at the bottom, we have documents. That's the ability to add documents, multiple documents against this account, such as quotes, faxes, purchase orders, so that you can keep them against the account and not in some directory that gets lost on your laptop somewhere. So there's quite a lot of information on the accounts page, but what we've purposefully done is put all the information in one place so that you know where to find it. The other links here on the menu are going to show you the same information that we saw on the accounts page, but across all the different accounts. So if I click on contacts, I can see all my contacts, or providing I have permission to do so, everybody's contacts within the system and opportunities the same I can see my opportunities or again providing I have permission to do so I can see everybody's opportunities within the system and the same with tasks I can see my tasks and if I need to I can see everybody else's tasks as well. The forecast link takes you to a dedicated report writer the forecast report writer which is designed to make really easy but very powerful sales forecast reports so that you can analyze your pipeline going forward Across the top here, we have the Setup tab. If you're an administrator, you have access to the Setup tab. That allows you to set up new fields, set up the system generally. Also the Tools tab. The Tools consist of a Listing Report Writer, which is another dedicated report writer to do listing reports. Also the Data Import tool and some other management tools that people might find useful. A link to the Help system. And finally, the logout button itself. So that's the end of this quick tour of really simple systems. Thanks for watching the video and good luck in setting your CRM system up.